Majlis and Sarla UK held their national ishtama on the 28th, 29th and 30th of September at the Country Market in Borden, Hampshire. This year's venue, Country Market, which is located near Hadik Medi, was selected for the ishtama to cater for the growing needs of the annual event. The site is also used during the community's annual convention each year, the Jalsa Salana. The National Ishtama for Lajna Maila UK was also being held on the same site simultaneously, and only one week earlier, Majlis Khadam al UK, the youth organisation of the community, also used the same site for their National Ishtama. This coordinated effort brought many benefits for all national events of the auxiliary organisations. The greatest benefit being the presence of the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, His Holiness Hazrat Mizam Sur Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, across all three days of the Ishtama. Beginning on the 28th of September 2018, the three day event began with the Friday sermon delivered by the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mizam Sur Ahmad, may Allah be his helper. This was broadcast live via satellite on MT International from the Bedal Fatul Mosque in Surrey to the Ishtama site. Following the Friday sermon, the Majlis and Sarla UK event was formally inaugurated with the inaugural address presented by the National President for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community UK, Mr. Rafiq Ahmed Hayat. It is indeed a great pleasure for me once again to inaugurate the Ansarullah Ishtama. By the grace of Allah, Majlis Ansarullah UK has a very rich history. It has very humble beginnings in the UK. And I remember when I was a very young man in this country, uh, our elders at that stage, by the grace of Allah, used to be very active. The theme of this year's ishtama was based on the spiritual guidance on the significance of prayer by the beloved worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Various sporting and academic events took place throughout the event with participants eagerly taking part. On Saturday, His Holiness performed the flag hoisting ceremony at the Ishtama site along with a congregational silent prayer. Attendees were able to take advantage and visit various exhibition areas containing knowledgeable presentations, community literature, and past event photo exhibitions. They were also enlightened with a series of educational and religious presentations, delivered by distinguished guests and dignitaries. Respected speakers included General Secretary of the UK, Molana Rana Mashud Ahmed the Director of International Relief for Humanity First, Dr. Hafiz Aziz, the Vice President of Majlis Sarla UK, Mr. Fahim Anwar, Sir Iftikhar Ayaz, the Guide Tablih, Mr. Shakil Bhatt, Guide Tarbiyat, Mulana Fazlur Rahman, the Imam of the London Mosque, Imam Atal Mujib Rashid, the Vice Chairman of the Charity Walk for Peace, Mr. Rafi Bhatti, the International Press Secretary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, Mr. Abid Khan, as well as the National Sadr, Majlis Sarla UK, Dr. Ijaz rahman On the final day, His Holiness graced the concluding session of both the national ishtamas that were taking place. His Holiness addressed the women's congregation before afternoon prayers and the men's congregation after the afternoon prayers. Both concluding sessions were relayed across both ishtama sites, as well as live via satellite broadcast on MT International, for viewers around the globe. In his faith-inspiring concluding address to the women's congregation, His Holiness Hazrat Mizr Masur Ahmed, may Allah be his helper, spoke on the blessings and benefits of the National Ishtama. The National Ishtama provides an excellent platform for the tarbiyat of our Ahmadi Muslim women and girls. And I hope and pray that this Ishtama has proved beneficial to all. For any true religious community, it is essential that its followers consider their religion and, of course, nation and community to be of paramount importance and be ready to make sacrifices for its cause. Unless we constantly seek to increase our faith and to live by our religious teachings, our verbal utterances are meaningless. A spirit of sacrifice will only de develop inside you when you attain 
spirituality through a personal relationship with Allah the Almighty. And for this, you must earnestly bow down before him with absolute humility. His Holiness concluded his address praying for the members of the community, for the spiritual and physical well-being, and for the members of Lajna Emila UK. His Holiness then led them in a congregational silent prayer. Following the afternoon prayer, His Holiness chaired the concluding session of Dinsar Ishtama at the Ishtama site. His Holiness presented prizes to competition winners of the various sporting and academic challenges. The award for the highest achieving small majlis in the UK, the al Nami, was awarded to Liverpool, and the al Nami for large majlis was awarded to Mosque. The Ishtama report was presented by respected Dr. Ijaz Rahman, the Southern Majlis of Ansarullah UK. On behalf of Majlis Ansarullah UK, I thank Hazur Akdas profoundly for this love and kindness which he has shown to encourage us. Hazur, preparations for this annual Ishtama started in earnest in July. Nazme Ala Ishtama, Dr. Mansoor Ahmed Saki Saab, and his team have worked hard to make it successful with support of Jalsa Salana UK teams. I am grateful to Sadar Majlis Qudamul Ahmadiyya, his Nazme Ala Ishtama, and Amir Saab UK, whose support for this event has been invaluable. In his faith concluding address to the men's congregation, His Holiness, Hazrat Mizam Rasul Rahmad, may Allah be his helper, reminded the attendees and viewers of their responsibility towards prayer. Allah Ta'ala ne Quran Kareem me be shumar jaga namaz kaim karne ka hukum diya. Allah Ta'ala ne Quran Kareem ke shuru me hi hadayat paane wale aur hakiki mumno ke liye yukim un salat ke alfaz istamal firmaye. یعنی نمازوں کو قائم کرنے والے اگر ہم یقیم الصلاد کے الفاظ کی لغات کے لحاظ سے کچھ وضاحت کریں تو اس قیام کا مقصد یہ ہے کہ نہ صرف اپنی نمازوں کی پابندی کرنی ہے ان کی حفاظت کرنی ہے خود مسجدوں کو آباد کرنا ہے بلکہ دوسرے لوگوں کو بھی مسجد میں لانے کی کوشش کرنی ہے اور آپس میں مل جل کر ایک دوسرے میں ایسی روح پھونکنی ہے جس سے نمازوں کی طرف توجہ بڑھے انصار اللہ کی یہ بہت بڑی ذمہ داری ہے کہ اس بات کی اہمیت کو سمجھیں اقامت اصلاحات کا حق ادا کرنے والے بنیں اپنے بچوں کو اپنے گھر والوں کو نمازوں کی طرف توجہ دلائیں اگر انصار اللہ کی عمر کے لوگوں میں سے جو اپنی اپنی متعلقہ مجالس کے عہدے دار بھی ہیں اگر وہ خود اس طرح توجہ کریں تو ہم دیکھیں گے کہ ہماری مسجدیں حقیقت میں بارونق مسجدیں بن جائیں گی His Holiness concluded both ishtamas with a congregational silent prayer. Over 5,500 women and over 3,900 men attended the national ishtamas which was an increase from previous years for both sides. This report is brought to you from MT International, UK Studios in London.